Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Leslie Ann King. And today, I just really wanted to <laughs> talk to y'all, you know, about making your man your everything. I feel like, and I say I feel like in a lot of my videos, so get used to it if you are new, okay? And if you're new, make sure you know you subscribe to this channel. But yeah, like, making your man your everything is a complete no-no. And I felt like I need to come on here just because I feel like some of the uh, messages I get, you know, and sometimes the emails I get, I could tell from what the person disclosed is that this person has taken up their whole focus. It is that person is the only thing they're thinking about. And when you do something like that, <laughs> that is problematic. And I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to tell you from a Christian perspective and then also just on a basic level. So if you make your man literally your everything, you are now making him an idol in your life. Anything that comes before God in your life is an idol. So if you are thinking about your man all the time, all you do is things for your man, nothing for yourself, you're neglecting yourself, uh, you don't pursue purpose, you're calling him 24-7, all these different things because that's your everything, there's no room for God. And that's a problem. That's 100% a problem because relationships without God involved, it's really hard. It, it's hard. And so as a Christian, I try to keep God at the center of my relationship. I honestly feel like without God, my relationship would not work like at all. And so Sis, stop making a, your, a man your everything because once you do that, he becomes an idol. So now on a more like basic level. So when you make your man your everything, you have left, you have no time for yourself. You start neglecting yourself. You start neglecting like self-care. Um, you don't pursue any of your goals. You don't literally... you. You know, when you have your own thing going on, you that makes you more interesting. When your man is your everything, that is a huge turnoff. He is going to be annoyed because men, they're usually out there. Like if you have a good quality man, they're out there doing what they need to do. They're working, they're pursuing their goals. They hang with their friends. They do what they have to do. So if you, on the other hand, are only focusing on him, only trying to hang out with him, never hanging out with your friends, never pursuing any goals, never doing anything, that's annoying. That's going to feel like someone is like literally <laughs> attached to your hip. And that's not what your man wants. You see what I'm saying? Like you have to have a balance. Men, men are interested in women who are interesting who have their own lives and things going on in their lives. And so it's important for you to really reassess. <laughs> like if you're watching this video and this is something you're doing, really reassess and think about why you're doing it, right? Because when you love yourself, you make time for yourself. You take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You value yourself and your individuality outside of the relationship every time you make a man your everything the moment he is gone you have nothing which is false and that only and that kind of thinking only comes from thinking that your value comes from a man when it doesn't it comes from our lord and savior jesus christ and so making a man your everything will drive you crazy that's another thing you won't have any peace because you're always going to be worried about what he's doing, when he's doing it. You're going to be whiny. You're going to nag. You're going to nag him to death because you have nothing else going on. And so it's like, well, what are you doing? Like, where are you at? What are we going to do together? Like, it's so important for us to cultivate ourselves so that we can be real, like, women of God in the kingdom and just really going after whatever it is that God has put in our hearts. Like, that is so important. We have so much purpose in our lives. And our only purpose in life is not to just be uh, with a man. You know, there are so many things. And there's nothing wrong, right, with being married and all of those things. That's nothing wrong with that. But you cannot, even as a, as a wife, I cannot make my husband my everything. If my husband's my everything, there's no room for God. There's no room for me. 
and I'm miserable because I know you'll know that deep down inside you're neglecting yourself you'll know like you're you're gonna feel like you're missing something and that's it if anything when you feel like you're missing something you tend to latch on to something that seems real familiar you know what I'm saying but once you realize okay I might be missing God like I might be missing this connection with God I'm, this is probably why I'm feeling this way. Maybe I need to spend more time with him. You know, maybe I need to spend more time with myself. Maybe I need to hang up with my friends. Maybe I need to go travel. Maybe I need to go start that business that God's been telling me to start for a long, long time. Sis, you know what I'm talking about. It might not be a business. It might be serving. It's, it, you might have something that you've been wanting to do forever. You might have, I want to sing at church. Maybe you wanted to like, you know, give to other people maybe you wanted to start a foundation maybe you wanted to build something maybe you want to draw a picture like and make an art and make artwork or something but you haven't done it because you are spending all of your energy on all of your time on a man and a lot of times this man ain't your husband that's a whole nother conversation but let, let's be real a lot of times a man you are putting all of your focus into is not even your husband once you get married um, God still comes first, but then it's your husband, like your spouse, and then it's your kids and everything else, right? That's, that's just what it is. And so, um, in marriage, you made a commitment, a co you have made a covenant before God that is different, right? So, um, but even in marriage, I would say you still cannot make any person, including your husband, your everything, because again, it's idolism and god has put us here to do so many things right and there's nothing wrong like i said um i think i said this in a previous video there's nothing wrong with being a housewife you know um that's actually something that i do on top of my entrepreneurship and uh i love being able to help my family make sure they have cooked meals and to help clean the house so uh there's nothing wrong with that so not taking away value from that but i know that there are things that God puts in our hearts specifically that he wants us to do. And when we make a man who is not even our husband, our everything, I feel like we're devaluing ourselves because there's so much that God wants us to do. And there's so many things that I know you know you've been neglecting. Like, have you been taking care of yourself? And if you're taking care of yourself, are you only doing it because your man wants you to do it? You're not doing it because you want to do it, because you care about yourself and you love yourself and you want to have, you know, clear skin and be healthier. If your motivation is a man, you should not be in a relationship 100 percent. Like there's nothing wrong with a man uh, pushing you, supporting you and even making you realize something about yourself. But if your only motivation to do better is because you have a man and not because of God. And not because you want to please God and not because you want to really be a servant to him. You shouldn't be in a relationship. The problem with making a man your everything is that it's false. He's not your everything. You're living a lot when you do that and you're wasting time and it's a turn off. Most guys will leave girls who do that to them because they feel like the person's clingy. They feel like they have nothing going on and it's just not cool. But when you cultivate yourself, you can learn more about yourself. You can become interesting. When you're interesting, that means you're going to be more attractive to men because you have stuff going on in your life. Your life does not revolve around that man. Your life should never just revolve around a man like at all. Sis, what are you doing with yourself? What are you doing? So this is a, these are questions that you want to ask yourself if you find yourself starting to put your man before everything. Um, if you feel like like you're doing too much, you know what I'm saying? If you start to feel like you're doing so much that you don't have anything left for you, you might be putting that person before everything. You might be making that person an idol. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Please be sure to share and click the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.